Hello everybody, Christy Glass here for a finished object video for you. And actually, it's the debut of a new pattern. A while back, I published a pattern called the Friendship Train, which is a knitting pattern. And I had so much interest in the crochet version that I have finally <laughs> published the crochet version. And I wanna tell you all about it. If you wanna skip the video because you already know everything, there is a link to the pattern underneath this video. If you are one of my patrons, there is a coupon. So head over to Patreon first to get your coupon. Do not purchase it full price because you have a deal over there. But the rest of you who are not on my Patreon and you've been waiting for this crochet pattern, the link is underneath this video and I am so excited to tell you all the details right now. So here it is, da da da, -da. It is called the Love Train. It is the companion pattern to the friendship train which is the knitted version and I cannot wait to tell you all of the details of this crochet version of the friendship train called the love train I want to show you the knitted version first because then you'll better understand how the crochet version came to be this is the original friendship train as you can see because it's knitted there is a right side and a wrong side so this is kind of the garter bumps and and then this, of course, is the stockinette. And I used the Moon Drake Moffy base. And actually, the pattern came to be because Moon Drake Yarn Company challenged me to design with her wool. So I did. I found myself at a local yarn shop in. Traverse City, Michigan, near Traverse City. I don't think it's technically Traverse City, but it's called Wool and Honey. And that same yarn was in the shop, and I picked, I quickly picked out these six colors that I thought went together so beautifully, and said to myself, I need to just design this crochet version of the friendship train already. So what I know about going from knitting to crochet is that crochet takes like 150% more wool than knitting, so I got six skeins. This is a four skein project, and I purchased six skeins, and I'm so happy that I did because I literally used up every last bit of this Moffy base from Moondrake. And in the pattern, it's all laid out which colors I used. I was smart, and what I did is I poked a hole in each of the labels of the Moondrake. Here it is, here's the label Moondrake, and I attached the right wool to the right label so I wouldn't forget what they're called. So we have Intense Iris, which is kind of this beautiful darker blue color. This is Vintage Deep Violet. Frozen, love that name. Rose Quartz. It's kind of hard to tell, but it is like a very light pink. Magenta and Vintage Lilac. And all of these details are listed in the pattern. There is a chart so that you don't have to use these ones, but if you love how it looks and you can get your hands on it, great. If not, just pick out six different colors and assign them each to a letter in the pattern so that you can marl them and use up all the yarn the best you can. This is a chunky weight when you hold the two double, so as you can see, on this stripe, these couple of stripes, like these three in a row, it's two different colors held double. This one is one color held double. So that's the technique used throughout so that you have a chance to use all six of these colors in a variety of combination. It keeps it really fresh and interesting and fun. With this particular project, I did want to use all of the wool, so I didn't have enough to fringe the entire thing, so I just used my remaining grams to make tassels. So just depending on how close you are to finding gauge, you may have enough for tassels, you may not, and I do think that you could totally do a contrast fringe or contrast tassels on this if you do happen to run out of wool at the end. I don't think it's a big deal. There's a lot of freedom that you can use when making this. Now I wanna show you that this is the sample that you'll get in the pattern, but I wanna show you my sample that I knit up as the test because I think I love it even more than the original. I knew I loved the original, but then as I started working on this pattern, I got so excited. So. I will say, okay, before I show you that, I do want to tell you that this friendship train, there's another version that I published in the knitting version. It's with more hand spun yarn. And I think it works so well with knitting. 
here is my favorite version of that. So this is using all my hand spun with a combination of some mohair to make a knitted version of the friendship train that has this hand spun quality to it. I think it's a little trickier to do this with crochet. So I just want to put it out there that I think the love train should stay mohair. I think that crocheting has a little less flexibility, a little more structure to it. And if you want it to lay and be a bit malleable as you style it, I think the idea is to stick with wool that is a little more drapey, a little more drapey. So with that in mind, that is how I test knit my, my next one that I wanna show you here. So I have actually have this giant Ikea bag next to me full of all my different mohairs and sort of textury wool. It's all in this giant, this is like the, the biggest project bag I've ever had. So I have all of my wool in there <laughs> that I have been carrying around with me from room to room. And what's so much fun about this is you can make any combination that you want. I'm looking for my crochet hook because my crochet hook is so cute. Here it is. It's, I think this is from Haya Haya and it is glittery. So combine this neon translucent glitter size Q crochet hook with a bag full of incredible texture of all the wool in my stash. I have been having the best time testing this pattern and I'm almost having regrets that I didn't photograph what I'm about to show you versus this one, even though I love this one too. So the pattern is written for a four row repeat and it's very simple. You increase, there's a critical middle row, middle section, and then you decrease. It's very beginner friendly. And so for the version that I did, that I'm gonna show you, I did just two rows per color instead of four. So you will right away see a difference in the thickness of the stripes. So just look how thick these are. Now I'm gonna show you the test. This is two rows only. So you get much more stripes changing. And I did do fringe for this. And what's awesome about the fringe is that you don't have to weave in a single end. Not one end do you need to weave in. So if you hate weaving in ends, if you love being creative, with all of the beautiful textured mohair yarns in your stash. And if you are a beginning crocheter, and even if you're not, like any crocheter I think would love this project, this project is for you. And I am kind of 100% obsessed with <laughs> my sample. I love it so much. So you can still use this pattern. This has a very detailed chart on how to use the six colors, how to marl them so you don't run out but you can totally apply this pattern to anything you want. And this is just an example of how you can do a version that adds a little more creativity and whimsy to it. And you just want to see what the next color combination will be. So it's very motivating and you will finish this for sure. So for example, here I'm holding two double of the blue. Here I'm holding two double of, let's see, this guy with, a strand of DK weight mo. So the rule that I have been following when I'm putting this together is if I have kind of a chunkier DK weight mohair, I'm holding two strands. If I have one that's more of a lace or fingering weight, I'm holding four strands. Or maybe you would do two of this and one of the DK. So as long as it kind of equals the same proportions, it's sort of like cooking, you'll be fine. And because it's such a, a chunky project you can really rip back if you find you don't like the fabric so for example this one has a little more air to it i could have maybe added one more strand of mohair in there it doesn't bother me so i didn't rip back but that's just an example if you really like consistency in your projects here is one that you might want to beef up a little bit uh, a few suggestions of yarn besides the dk mo there is this beautiful alpaca, it's called Brushed Alpaca from Sadness Garn. You can get it at motherknitter.com. I held this two strands, double. And then this one is really cool. This is, I believe, called Gepard, G-E-P-A-R-D. I'll try to find a link for it. This I just held single. So this, I think, could have been okay held double or maybe with something else. This is that stripe right here. 
So I just had so much fun, just the best time putting together these various stripes and I just cannot wait to wear this one as well. Thank you so much as always for joining me here on YouTube. There is a link to the Love Train, which is the crochet version of the Friendship Train pattern underneath this video. I am doing a make along in the month of November over on Patreon. All levels are invited to participate. So if you'd like to join me at Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Christy Glassnitz. We'll have some Zooms and we'll be able to share our various versions of the Friendship Train and Love Train with each other during the month of November. And I'd love to see you over there. Thanks so much as always for visiting me here at YouTube and I'll see you next time. Bye.